So if you're looking for a game to pick up, yes, the title says it, get Cuphead. Cuphead is an amazing game, and I mean absolutely amazing, and it's also very difficult. So Cuphead is a game that's available right now on the Xbox One, or you can get it on PC. This is a Microsoft exclusive game, but this is a game that I think everyone should definitely check out. So you have the opportunity to pick it up on the Xbox One, or uh, the uh, or, or a Windows-based PC, and it only retails for about $19.99. Now, what's great about this game is the fact that it's an old-school platformer with this Steamboat really style animation. Everything is done from the ground up, and you've got some really cool gameplay dynamics. Now, this game is one of those games that literally will drive the hair out, hair out of your head. You will probably pull your hair because it is difficult, yes. This is old school gaming difficult. This is not like Call of Duty where you got auto aiming and tagging. This is a game that, yes, basically as you're playing, you realize that, yeah, the bosses are tough. And that's how this game is. So the game setup is pretty simple. You've got Cuphead and Jug, both of them basically have this deal with the devil and they have to pay him back. So you have to go ahead and fight all these different bosses. Now, the way the game is set up is that you've got different boss stages that you can jump into and play. You also have platforming stages as well. The platforming stages are really nice and simple, a nice breakaway from the boss stages because those can be very difficult, as I mentioned. But the platforming stages are cool. You get to go, go ahead and jump around, you shoot with your hands directly. You've got some uh, some power moves as well. You can change your weapons um, and you've got a nice different breakaway. Now going to the boss fights. The boss fights is what makes Cuphead the game it is. You've got 20 bosses that you can fight and you've got really two options, simple and regular, yeah, in terms of difficulty. Now you may go, yeah, I'm a game. I'm gonna go with regular. Stop right there because trust me, you will die multiple times before you beat the bosses. And when you do, it gives you this track of how far you are until you've beaten the boss. So you kind of go like, oh, I was only halfway there. Okay, I'll play again. Oh, I'm three thirds, three quarters of the way there. Oh, I was almost, and, and you, that's what happens in this game. It can be a little frustrating, but it is so good. Now, when you find the bosses, you've got different types of weapons you can use, you've got different power-ups you can use, and this thing basically is addictive. It is very addictive. Plus, the music in this game is absolutely amazing. It really draws you in. It's got this, is you know, they've got a full uh, jive, uh, jazz band playing. They actually got their own jazz band and recorded original music for this game. And it really adds to the flair of what you get in Cuphead in terms of just the gameplay dynamics, the kind of music, Music, the backdrop, that whole animation comes in together. So just, just take a listen and listen on your own. Now, that being said though, uh, with that, you also have a co-op mode where you can play two players on this. Sadly, there is no online co-op. I please run an update so we can get an online co-op on this game because it's absolutely just a great thing. Uh, but you can do play, play local two player on this and it is so much fun. You, you can combine power-ups, they're balanced, there are more dynamics to it, but still, the one thing about the game is that the difficulty also ramps up differently. So you might think, okay, this game, this level is difficult, this boss is difficult. If I get a friend to play it, I might actually do very well. But once you actually play with someone else, the difficulty changes to match in, match the fact that you have two people play. So again, it's not a simple thing to actually do, but you will definitely enjoy it. Now, you will get to enjoy some of the just a great gameplay uh, mechanics once you actually master this game and get down the levels. Now, now BW1 was able to beat uh, Beppe the Clown here, and you can see how he actually used different weapons, different techniques. It's such a fun gaming experience and something you can do anywhere. You can do it on your Xbox One. You can do it on the go, even on your Surface Pro laptop, which is what I actually have here. And it's great that it's such a flexible game. And again, the price point, Absolutely fantastic. To me, this is already one of my games of the year. Yes, I am sucking at it now currently, but it is so much fun and it reminds me of just the good old days of just, just grinding out through games and making sure that your skill level and your accuracy really goes up. So if you wanna guys, um, uh, if you wanna pick up a game this uh, this time of the year or looking for something that's fun, that you can play on your PC or your Xbox One, 
this is the game to do that. Definitely check out Cuphead. Uh, we have a link for you down below for you to actually go ahead and pick that up. If you have any questions or any comments, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like and share this video. Favorite this video, subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy your entertainment. Now it's time for me to go and die again in Cuphead. Ah.